Hi friends, today our topic of discussion is Indian Aesthetics and Rasa Theory. So this word Aesthetics come from the Greek word Aesthetikos which means perception of senses. That is what we perceive by our senses not by what we are thinking inside our minds. General terms it is termed as beauty. Uh, aesthetics in Indian philosophy has ma four major theories in ancient India. Rasa, Thwini, Vakrakti, Alamgara in which we are going to discuss in detail about Rasa. In Indian aesthetics, Rasa means juice or essence or taste. So, it is an aesthetic flavor of any visual, literary or musical work that evokes an emotion or feeling in the reader or audience but cannot be described. That is the work of art. We have a music, a drama, a drama, a drama, a drama, a drama, a drama, a can go back to the history of Rasa. This word Rasa appeared, appears in ancient Vedic literature. In Rig Veda, it connotes a liquid. In Atharva Veda, it's taste or sense of sap of grain. In Upanishads, it came. In post-Vedic literature also, there is mentioning of Rasa. The oldest surviving manuscript with Rasa theory of Hinduism are of Natya Shastra. That is what, what we are going to discuss next in detail. Natya Shastra by Bharata Muni uh, is uh, believed to have written between 200 BC and 200 AD and uh, there are 36 chapters and 6000 poetic verses in it and uh, 8 Rasas and 49 Bhavas are described in that uh, great book. And it is considered as the fifth Veda. The text begins it disc its discussion of Rasa in chapter 6, which is devoted for this Rasa theory with a sutra. In, uh, in Indian aesthetics, it is known as Rasa Sutra. So, what is that? It's Vibhavanubhava Vyabhijari Samyogat Rasa Nishpati. That is, the realization of Rasa results from the union of Vibhavas, Anubhavas and Vyabhikari Bhavas. According to Nati Shastra, the goals of theatre are to empower aesthetic experience and deliver this emotion Rasa. So now we can see what is this Vibhava and Anubhava and Vyabhikari Bhavas. Vibhava is the karana or causes. It is an objective condition which produces an emotion. Emotion and dava and the main karana and vipavas are divided into alambana and uddipana. What is alambana? Alambana is the person with whom emotion is manifested. And uddipana vipavas are the circumstances that excites emotions. Anubhavas are the effect seen upon the characters after the emotions arise in the actor. That is, the emotions expressed through body expressions. Vebhigari bhavas are the transitory or temporary emotions or a series of diverse emotions which feed the dominant emotion. Shringara Rasa, other Udaharnated Kanangili, Alambanan Varanadu, Adila Hero, Heroinan, Adbola Uddibana Vipavan Varanadu, Music, Songs, Adbola Solitude, Youth, Avereda Youth, Adokanamulka, Uddibana Vipava Sight, Kanaka Kamitu. In the Anupava Varanada Dili, Avereda Low Longing Glances, Adbola Smiles, Adokiana, Adila Anupava Varanadu. Vibhigari Bhavas nu varnadhu Anxieties Adu bola avarada chari chari fights That all will join together And will produce the emotion Shringara That is the Shringara Rasa Now we can go to Bhavas These Rasas are created by Bhavas So what is this Bhava? Bhava is the state of mind 
in this natya shastra seventh chapter is uh, devoted for uh, this bhavas and 49 bhavas are explained in it in which eight are sthayi bhavas so what is this sthayi bhava sthayi bhavas are the permanent or dominant moods they are eight in number in natya shastra that is rati or love hasya humorous shoga sorrow utsaha enthusiasm bhaya fear jugupsa disgust and vismaya wonder later passiveness was added by uh, abhinava gupta and ananda vardhana this sthayi bhavas are the basis of rasa and are supreme among all the bhavas and this constitute the principal theme of a composition in natya shastra bharata muni has explained only eight rasas that is ashta rasa the ninth one was later added by the new, later authors or aestheticians and according to natya shastra each rasa has a presiding deity and a specific color so we can see which are those uh, colors and deities along with this rasa shringara vishnu light green color hasya shiva white raudra shiva red karunya yama grey bibatsa shiva blue bhayanaga yama black veeram indra saffron adbhuta brahma yellow shantarasa was added by later authors and now it became nava rasa and uh, some authors according to some aestheticians it is the most clear form of aesthetic, aesthetic bliss there are various interpretations on this rasa theory abhinava bharati is the most studied commentary on natya shastra written by abhinava gupta 1952 to 1020 ce he referred natya shastra as natya vedha but he gave oh, importance only to two terms that is uh, in rasa sutra that is samyoga and rasa nishpatti he believed that during a performance the permanent emotions or sthayi bhavas in the mind of the individual are excited to produce in the viewer's mind rasa is created only in art and real life incidents it only evoke emotions and not rasa abhinava gupta da abhiprayathile ee stha nammalde ullilulla aa sthayi bhavas aanu sherikkum rasayayittu varunathu adu pole nammalde jeevitha sahajaryangalil nammal anubhavikkunnathu orikkalum rasam alla adu verum vigarangal maatrana emotions maatramaanu that is rasa theory draws a clear distinction between real life experience and art experience next comes butta lolata he says vibhavas are the causes that arises rasa uh, then vibhavas in poetry is expressed through words and it is in dramas it is expressed in the form of actions another uh, institution mamatha he was against lolata's view of cause and effect that is relationship between this vibhava and rasa he says that vibhavas itself cannot be considered as communicative agent of rasa vibhavakku maatram ee rasam undaakkan pattilla nanu mamathayude view another institution sanguga also refutes lolata's concept of rasa theory that is Uh, this lolata believed that this emotions will not diminish with the time but uh, but shankuga says with the passage of time emotions will diminish patanayaga another critic another uh, institution has the view that uh, this rasa cannot be produced or suggested it is an enjoyment of emotions when it is imaginatively expressed in literary works ഇതിൻ്റെ വ്യൂ എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ അതൊരിക്കലും പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു വികാരമല്ല രസമെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അത് നമ്മൾ ഇമാജിനേറ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ബുക്കുകൾ വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമുക്കുണ്ടാകുന്ന ആ ഒരു എൻജോയ്മെൻറ്റ് മാത്രമാണ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഫോൾ ഗോ ടു മെൻഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഭാവകത്വ ഈസ് ദി 
പവർ ഓഫ് യൂണിവേഴ്സലൈസേഷൻ ബൈ വിച്ച് വിഭവാസ് സ്ഥായി ഭാവാസ് എക്സെട്രാ ലോസസ് ദർ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വാലിറ്റി വിഭവക്കും സ്ഥായി ഭാവയുടെ ഒക്കെ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വാലിറ്റി പോയിട്ട് അതൊരു യൂണിവേഴ്സൽ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു അറ്റൈൻമെൻറ്റിൽ എത്തുന്നതിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഭാവകത്വം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് and what is this bhojagata is the quality that is responsible for the enjoyment of generalized sthayi bhavas by the spectator the spectator ne id enjoy cheyanayittu help cheyna responsible aitla aa quality ne aanu nammal endu parayunnathu bhojagata nu parayunnathu so i have tried my best not to miss any important parts from this rasa theory so If you like this uh, lesson please share with your friends and uh, please subscribe okay thanks for watching